myths and realities of public speaking. Here's where we're going. What are some myths of public speaking and what are some realities of public speaking? Myth number one, you have to be perfect. Many times the myth of perfection adds unnecessary pressure to any speaker. Remember, perfection is the enemy of done and listeners don't want to see you fail. Lions. Myth two, speaking in public is not like killing lions. This is a myth because speaking in public is just like killing lions. It triggers the exact same fight or flight response as killing lions does. Here are some ways to turn that lion into a kitten through apprehension management techniques. Everybody deals with a certain amount of apprehension. Apprehension management helps to lessen that apprehension. First, be prepared and know your audience. Make sure that you understand your audience needs, wants, and desires. Make sure that you rehearse with realism. The more realistic your rehearsal, the better off your actual presentation will be. Be sure to use relaxation techniques. Simple things like breathing can help you feel a lot less fear when presenting. Be sure to also use visualization techniques. In a recent study by the University of Chicago, they compared people who imagined making free throws and visualized making free throws with people who actually rehearsed and practiced making free throws, and there was very little difference between the two groups. So visualization is a powerful technique not to be undersold. And finally, especially make sure that you understand and know your introduction and conclusion. Remember that introductions are usually where we feel the most nervousness. And conclusions are the very last thing that an audience is going to hear. So it's important to practice those as well. Myth three, good speakers are born, not made. Do you think that Abraham Lincoln was born an amazing speaker? Or did he make himself a great speaker? Of course, we're all born with certain traits and strengths, but we all have the ability to develop skills. So this is a myth because we can develop the skill of presentational speaking just like we can develop any other skill. Myth four, imagine your audience in the buff. The idea behind this was to make your audience seem less intimidating. But of course, this is a myth because it doesn't work. That same energy could be spent making sure you focus on the important parts of your presentation. Myth five, always use the lectern. This is a trap a lot of speakers fall into. The lectern can be a trap, a box that doesn't let you out. And it's not a good idea to always stand behind the lectern unless you have absolutely no choice. Blocking and movement can add emphasis to your presentation. Stepping towards the audience at a key moment can really drive home the impact of what you're trying to say. Myth six, focus only on one dimension, whether it be verbal, nonverbal, visual aids, or blocking. Of course, you want to focus on all dimensions of your presentation. Every dimension of your presentation will help you to appear more competent and confident to your audience. Myth seven, you must memorize your speech. In actuality, extemporaneous speaking is more conversational and puts an audience at ease. Sometimes over-rehearsed or over-memorized speeches can have the alternate effect, making your audience feel uncomfortable. Myth eight, look over the heads of your audience. Of course you want to pay attention to your audience so that you can adapt your presentation to that audience. If you feel that you're losing your audience, maybe you want to use an appropriate amount of humor. If the audience is very into what you're saying, maybe you're more willing to take a risk. You can't tell this by looking over the heads of your audience. You have to pay attention to them. Marcus Aurelius was Roman Emperor from 161 to 180 AD. He famously said, the secret to all victories lies in organization, 
of the non-obvious. Reality number one, organization is key. Organization gives you a roadmap for success. It lessens natural communication apprehension. It helps create a better listener experience and it creates brain anchors so that you can have a more natural mastery of content. You'll not have to focus so much on memorizing because your brain automatically hooks on to the organization that you've chosen. Reality number two, speaking in public is like joining a larger conversation. It's important to view presentational speaking as a part of a larger conversation. So to review, public speaking does not have to be a fight or flight experience, as with the lion. It can be like holding half of a friendly conversation. This will be especially true if you do a good job of preparing and organizing your presentation ahead of time. 